Okay, so I got the compressor out. It's right there. Very heavy beast. Um, I think I've got everything disconnected uh, that I see. Um, one thing I want to point out is that when you're taking this thing off, um, apparently it can get very rusted and brittle. So, um, just be gentle when you take that off. It's um, got a vacuum tube. It just has a Corbin ring on it, too. So, it's really very easy. You just take this off and pop this out. But, uh, honestly, I think it was already broken because I couldn't find the bits of pieces are in there inside. But who knows? Um, maybe I did break it. Um... I think I've got everything disconnected. One last thing I was going to point out was that when I took off the uh, the ignition coil, um, I found this. I don't know what this is, so I'm going to have to probably fight around. All these wires are extreme crispy. Just bending them will break them, um, I've noticed. So just be careful. Um, a lot of these wires get really hot and crispy, especially when they're 30 years old. Um, that's really about it. I'm going to... Um, from here, I'm going to start undoing the uh, intake manifold bolts and see if it'll all come up as one big piece. Um, please note all this crazy rust in here. A lot of my radiator fluid is rusty, and it's funny because I just put some in not that long ago. Like, I just drained it when I did the water pump right there. Um, actually, I did the whole timing chain, but they did about three months ago, and it's rusty again. But I think a majority of it is part of the intake. It's pretty rusty in there. Cast iron, 30 years old, hunk of junk. Okay, um, hopefully I'll come back with a fresh intake taken off, so.